10 days. Jesus never leaves my side. Raquel Elliott seems broken over the disappearance of her oldest child. My daughter's missing, please. There's a poster with Honesty Elliott's photo on the family's front door on Prospect Place. If you see her, just, you can give me a call, okay? All right. I'm her mommy. The 14-year-old is supposed to attend orientation for high school next week. Her true dream is to be a knee surgeon. And she's been thinking about that and dreaming about it since she's five. Honesty's mother said the girl was babysitting her younger brother and sister last Wednesday while she was at work when the teen vanished. We spoke to the next door neighbor. We were here on Wednesday, but we didn't see anything out of the ordinary. The worried mother showed us her daughter's sketchbook. This is her self portrait of her. And the mom is holding on tight to her daughter's dearest possessions. This is her favorite doll. Ani's had it since she's five. The mother said her daughter wasn't acting out recently and didn't have any problems with bullies, but she says there was an incident involving the teen's computer two days before she disappeared. When I walked in the room, I know it was late, and I said, hand me the computer. The anguished mom, who works for the United Federation of Teachers, is now getting support from her friends and the education community. We are coming together as a community and we will not stop until we bring honesty home. The mother sent a message to her daughter in case the teen can't get access to a computer or phone. You fight till I come for you, my darling, because I'm going to keep looking for you, baby. And we all are, every day, every night. I love you, baby. 14-year-old Honesty Elliott is missing from the Crown Heights neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York. She was last seen on July 27th, walking away from her home on Prospect Place near Washington Avenue around 10.53 a.m. You know, this case really hurt me so much especially watching the mother on the news going through it her mother's Raquel Elliott she's a working mom you know she needed her daughter help in watching her younger siblings you know and I know there is no handbook on being a parent but it can have its challenges as we all know because we've all been young before sometimes we have little understanding on life and the harm that can come to us, um, people that may not mean us no good. You know, some things look good to us, but it's definitely not good for us. You know, I know Mother mentioned about a laptop and, you know, coming in a room late at night. Hey, give me your laptop. It's time to put it up. It's time for bed. We got to get up tomorrow. And... Honesty didn't like that. But to all the young people today, all these parents today, it's important to educate your kids on why you are doing things because the time is changing. You know, right now we are living in the time where everybody wants to know everything. So you literally have to say, hey, I'm taking this computer because we have to get up early and I don't want anything to hinder you from getting up on time because we can't be late. We literally do have to explain things. I know that wasn't done to me as a child. I just kind of had to do what was being asked of me as long as it was in reason. But I'm going to say this as I end this video. What might seem like your parent or guardian is being mean or not understanding or, you know, jumping down your throat. Listen, as long as it's being asked in reason, you may not understand it now. It may not resonate today. You may not like it. But you will understand by and by. My mother and grandmother used to tell me that. You'll understand by and by. And being a mother today, I understand it. So things that I used to ask when I was younger, and my mom would say, no, or give me this, or that's not going to work, or we can't do this. I now do the same thing as a parent, but I understand the thought process and the thinking.
And I think that's highly important that we get some type of understanding with our children and we really tap into their mental health because social media is a mental health hindrance. We see so many children on a day-to-day basis just walking around with a tablet, laptop, computer, cell phone, iPad, iPhone, you know. They want to see everything that's going on around the world. But I think this is so sad, and I really hope that Honesty Elliot is found and brought back home to her family and friends, and she's able to start school because she's going to be a new high schooler this year. So uh, it just really brought me down listening to it and and reviewing everything that's going on in New York in that Crown Heights area. I just pray that she is really brought home, and I pray that everything is okay. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.